Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. It's Dr. Jack of All Trades and it's Vlogmas Day 3. But first, let's get a little breakfast before we hop into things. It is the most important meal of the day. So I'm going to make a little bit of breakfast. I'm going to do some oatmeal. And so I have a, fourth, a half of a cup of oatmeal. I have my Orchard Valley Harvest Cranberry Almond Cashew Trail Mix that I'm going to top it with. I have some ground cinnamon and a little bit of organic blue agave, um, low glycemic sweetener. My daughter had a, um, she had a um, partnership with Wholesome, and this is one of the um, things that she got. And, and so what I'm going to do is just make my um, oatmeal as usual. It's a half a cup of rolled oats into a cup of boiling water. And I'm going to add that in just a second. These are the quick oats, um, not the instant, but they are the quick um, oats that take about five to seven minutes to cook. And I'll probably add a splash of either almond milk or coconut milk um, to this. Give it a little bit of um, a little bit of a creaminess. And so yeah, that's gonna be my breakfast. have it guys my yummy oatmeal I hope you're having a great breakfast talk to you soon so as I told you guys I am going to update my outdoor wreaths um, as you can see um, my wreaths from last year are pretty neutral they're just a white flocked wreath with a few gold baubles on that on it and the word joy in gold and uh, a few pine cones so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this ribbon that I showed you that I bought I cut it into some strips and we're gonna um, kind of zhuzh this up a little bit so um, yeah to make it pop a little bit so that um, it'll look a lot um, more vibrant from a distance make make it kind of pop a little bit because these neutral colors really just blend into the front of the house so I want it to be a lot um, more vibrant so let's get to that so I'm going to start by making little petals out of the uh, smaller strips of ribbon and just kind of strategically place them within the wreath so tying them off with a little um, floral wire and then I'll take the longer piece and make a cute little bow and position it on the wreath and kind of secure it with the same floral wire and then cut some little slits in the ribbon at the bottom and there's the finished product I think it turned out pretty good so here they are out on the doors and Think they look very pretty. I am pleased. And so now I'm going to take the other ribbon and put it on my big um, flower pots or urns. I have one on each side of my uh, doorway. And so I'm going to do that. And that's very simple, quick, and pretty. Now moving on inside to my little um, dining area, breakfast nook. I'm going to do a real simple tablescape here um, 
all of the items I had uh, last year. And um, in the next clip, I'll uh, let you see this whole grouping in the daylight. And I'll tell you a little bit, a little bit about where I got the um, items from. But I'm just adding. And now um, clean up all that glitter. Because as you know, Christmas decor, glitter, so much of it. So just clean it. Let me show you what I did on my table last night. And so you can see it in the daylight. I don't know if it's gonna look any better with the, with the light behind it. But anyway, I thought this was so pretty. There's snow in the vase and little crystals and flowers. It just all looks so wintry, like a winter wonderland. And I actually um, have plant, uh, put some flowers on the back because you know you gotta be able, if someone's sitting on this side, they wanna see some flowers too. I need to straighten them up a little bit. But I'll get it in a minute because glitter is gonna go everywhere. But yeah, not finished with it yet. As you can see the snow and everything. But I'm going to finish it um, before this week is out. Got a couple more projects to do. And this this um, garland I got from Hobby Lobby this year. I got it from Hobby Lobby this year and it was 50, uh, one of their 50 off sales. Um, I don't know where I got the candlesticks from. I've had them for a minute, maybe Kirkland's or something like that, or Michael's, I'm not sure, can't remember. Um, this container was a gift, I think. I don't know where I got it from. I got this from Walmart, that little Good, good Tidings of Comfort and Joy, Walmart. That is, of course, a Bath and Body Works candle and candle holder. Um, these flowers I got from mm, Hobby Lobby, I think, last year. I think I got them all from Hobby Lobby. The snow, I think I got from Hobby Lobby or at home. And you know what? I may have even gotten those flowers from at home. I can't remember. All I know is they're from last year. So they're a year old. And then this is what I did on my counter. Just a little Christmassy kind of a vibe. I got these things from, where did I get them? Hobby Lobby flowers. And they all came from Hobby Lobby. This Walmart, these little things came from a little wholesale place here. Well, not here. It's about an hour away from me um, called Marouge Wholesale. And I got these little things. These were actually bought for a baby shower that I did um, about three years ago and the baby shower theme had uh, this kind of rustic look it had burlap runners on the table burlap um uh chair ties it, it was really a the most adorable little baby okay so guys this is my den area my little cozy den um where i have my other tree remember i told you i had two trees hey dill 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 stop it with the barking He's barking at the wind. It's very windy today. It is cold today and windy, but it is beautiful. It's beautiful. But anyway, this is my room. I hope he lets me talk. This is where I um, have my other tree. This is the, the family room. This is the den. Um, there's the fireplace with the stockings all hung by the chimney with care. I am really thinking we're going to update our furniture we're doing quite a bit of updating uh this year here's the tree this is the um the tree i try to make my trees um the colors that are in the room because i don't want it to clash i want it to um kind of match what i have and i haven't done a traditional red and green tree i don't think ever ever i don't think i've ever done a traditional red and green tree i've always done um trees that were different or had like whatever colors i like i've not done a um, couple of years i did mardi gras tree and that was so funny because i left the tree up um through mardi gras um and then one year i actually left the tree up all year that my my daughter on her instagram page has a funny clip about uh, me leaving the tree up for a full year but anyway, this is another, uh, my other tree. It is uh, in a kind of a brown, um, 
and coppery kind of color with gold and white and beautiful big bee bobbles and bows and balls and all kinds of just really adorable things like this right here is so adorable. I like lots of different elements all over my tree, my topper, some beautiful stems. I can't even begin to tell you where I got all of these ornaments because this tree is typically the one that has the most uh, of the, that has most of my older ornaments on it. So some of these things are 10, 15 years old. What, and as I may have mentioned, I don't know if I did or not, but every year I will buy maybe one or two ornaments to add to what I have to for new, um, to add some newness. I need to get this out of the way so it won't be seen. And so for this year, these are the ornaments that I bought. I thought they were beautiful. I don't know if you're getting a good look at them. But these came from at home. So I just bought two to add. Here's the other one. I just bought two new ornaments. I have some Edison bulbs on the tree, just all kinds of stuff. And when it's lit, it's really beautiful. Um, I have stems and um, trick if you, or hack, if you want to fill your tree, you don't want to be able to see through it, stuff it with like stems like this and snowballs like this. Just stuff them in there in, in places where you feel like you need to have, um, you know, something to fill in and you don't want to see it. And uh, just me, I like to just go crazy with the ornaments. Go crazy with them. And so this is my tree. I'll show you what it looks like at night when it's lit up. Um, but yeah, and so this is my, our little cozy area here. Our little cozy little area where we all congregate and watch whatever we're watching. And most of the time, we're watching football. Oh, we miss it so much. Well, guys, it's been a long day. And we're gonna call it a night. I wanted to show you my tree in my conversation room um, with the lights on. As you can see, it's just so beautiful. And of course, the camera doesn't know justice whatsoever. I'll turn the light on so that you can see it. It's the tree in here, still no stockings yet. But maybe I'll try again tomorrow. I don't know, maybe. It's been a great day for me. I hope it was for you too. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.